kind of exciting. Awaiting further orders. Here? Taking position. You better keep up. Advance! Squad E, move out! Centurion. Requesting fire support. Sending coordinates now. Defensive. Keep yourselves protected. Will this be okay? Let's get going. I'll be sure to cover. Let's get going. I'll provide backup. Not bad. You got some moves. At the enemy. Keep your limbs moving so they don't freeze. Is that the Can enemy? Fire. I think I found them. I think I found no them. in a day's work. I see. They're Never saw me coming. They're firing at me! They've got you in their sights! Commencing counterattack. Follow my lead. They smell blood. Incoming! Sniff them out. Keep firing! 
<sighs> that smells nice. You can pet what you can see. Taking the enemy bit. I've tracked the Centurion's position to this area, right where we want them. Uh-huh. So how do you plan on taking them down? Our goal is to capture the ship, not capsize it. Capture, capsize. You sure get hung up on details, my man. The snow cruiser is a beautiful piece of work, but it's not like you'll get to keep it. I get why Doc Belgar's taking a scientific interest in it. So what's your horse in this race for, Seti? A promise. A promise? Primaria, I'll have you, Sorty, as well. But know this. Failure is not an option. <sighs> Nor shall disobedience be tolerated. Belgar's orders. Should you repeat the same mistake, you'll be sent back to the research facility. Oh, there. What do you mean by that? The laboratory is demanding you return their Valkyrian. One of its top researchers, Professor Forster, has defected. Since then, our working relationship has been... strained. We've been ignoring their demands thus far. But should you fail to prove yourself useful on the Crystal Sea... Holy shit! Uh -huh. You really suck at this. Sure, you're an ace when it comes to war, but you don't have a clue how to treat a lady. I beg your pardon? What the hell are you doing, twisting her arm like that before the final showdown? Seriously, what do you and Belgar think Cremaria is? Uh. A weapon. A tool. Nothing more. Look, Forsetti. And you too, Cremaria. We're all comrades in arms, aren't we? What? Comrades? Of course. We live together, fight together. What else would you call that but comrades? So come on. We can afford to act like a team, right? <laughs> I think not. I want nothing to do with it. Have it your way, Forseti. Carry on with your little plan. <laughs> You're nothing but a failure. <laughs> Just a useless defect. Perhaps I ought to return it to the laboratory. No matter. There's more where it came from. Why? I gave them everything. And still they brand me as worthless. Am I truly nothing but a failure? Selvaria! You are the pride of the Empire! Prove your loyalty to His Grace! Show the world your power! God, help me! Oh, someone, please! Save me! Hey, you in there? It's that obnoxious man. 
I hear Fenrir in there. Which means you're in there too, aren't you, princess? I need to speak with you. Coming in, okay? No! Stay out! Whoa well, now. You okay in there? Are you crying again? I told you to stay out! Fine, my bad. You're right, it's rude to enter a lady's room without permission. Then leave me be. You could wait a millennium and still I wouldn't invite you in. Oh. So I have to stand out here a thousand and one years? Fine by me. You're worth the wait. <sighs> You've been through a lot, haven't you? It must be hard having to tough it out all by your lonesome. Why don't we talk about it and... Leave me alone! Sorry. No can do. What sort of gentleman would I be if I left a damsel in distress? Guess I'll just come back later. <laughs> but you've changed, Kai. This war has changed you. You don't care about peace. All you care about is your own twisted cause! Claude, if you wish to know the truth, then join me. I could tell from our battles how skilled a commander you've become. I'd welcome you with open arms. You think- Wait, goddammit! Kai! Hmm. Am I intruding? My apologies. Belgar. <laughs> Goodness gracious, I can hardly keep up with these constant calls from headquarters. Sounds like the army is in quite a state of turmoil. They're withdrawing from the Gallian front as we speak. <laughs> ah, yes. I suppose that would be good news for you. To say nothing of Prince Maximilian falling in battle. After writing off Operation Cygnus as a trifle for so long, headquarters must be weak. They're assembling all the troops they can muster to defend the capital. That must be why they want it back. I assume they'll be recalling the rest of XO as well. <laughs> the fools. They haven't a clue what creeps ever closer. If only they knew the truth of Operation Cygnus. They'd be throwing everything they have at it. But their ignorance is our opportunity. <laughs> Indeed. I trust you will succeed this time. Yes, sir. Now then, about your roles in the coming operation. Yes, my lord. I would have you rest for now. Leave this one to Forseti. You will allow us to rest? But of course. You two are my trump cards, after all. I can't play my hand this early in the game. You understand, do you not? The role I have given you. Yes, my lord, we do. We are yours to command. I'm glad you're taking so well to your calibrations. It'd be a shame to have to retire such valuable resources. Thank you, Lord Belgar. Thank you, Lord Belgar. Hmm. Hey there, princess. Oh, come on, Fenrir, don't give me that. You and me, we're one and the same. Loyal knights sworn to protect our master. That makes us comrades too, right, boy? I don't recall knighting the likes of you. Nice view. You come here often? <sighs> it's nice to have a place to yourself. Growing up, I didn't have anywhere to call home. 
Sure, I was born into a wealthy house. Problem was, my mother was the maid. Noble indiscretion. Like most bastards, I was neglected, abused. One day I'd had enough and I ran away to the slums. It was a real cesspool, a place for the lowest of the low. But at least I was free there. The streets were my true home. I met new people, found friendship, even fell in love. If my mind's in the gutter, it's always gonna be in their gutters. Holding on to that helps me get by. How about you? You got a place like that? No. If I belong anywhere, it's under the knife. Ah, uh, that lab they want to ship you back to. Every day was a new experiment. They'd strap electrodes to my head, apply stimuli, and observe how I'd react. Needle piercing, water torture, sleep deprivation. Cut me apart, put me back together, slice my brain. Easy. I get it. You don't have to relive all that. But that's my true home. I fought so hard to be chosen. But even now, if I fail again, it's back to the lab for more experiments, more torture, until my final sunset. Do you finally see? No one can understand my pain. Leave me. I have nothing more to say to you. Not happening. You think you deserve to be locked up in some loony bin? To hell with that. I'll never let those bastards have you. <sighs> right here's where you belong. And that's final. How dare you? Not in a million years. Not doing it for you? Huh. My pecs are usually a big hit with the ladies. You... Cur! Yeah, you're right. I was a real hound dog, but not anymore. From this day forward, my heart is your home, and yours alone. <laughs> if you want somewhere to belong, look no further. When you laugh, when you cry, I'll be there. For all of it. <laughs> Fenrir, teach this insolent oaf his place. Yeah. Ah, come on, boy, we're comrades, remember? <laughs> oh, damn it. Think about what I said, Cremaria. You do have a place where you belong! What a fool. Chapter 14 Azure Flame.